All right, here we go. We're live. We are live, baby. You can't be more live than this. All right, so let's do this. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And uh, I'm actually the world's greatest living artist, to be quite honest with you guys. And... Let's paint something here, you know? Let's paint something here. Uh, there was a point in my life where I cared about, like, uh, silly stuff, like, I don't know, like, things that a lot of people care about, you know, just things that a lot of people care about. Hey, how's it going, Noah? Things uh, that... That a lot of artists seem to care about. Like, man, like, like, color combinations and, and on and on. I'm at a point right now where I'm like, dude, F color combinations. I still, I still show them. I still teach them. I do, I do, uh, uh, I'm, I'm doing little courses and classes one-on-one. -on -one. Um. And I still teach them, but personally for me, I've, I've gotten to a place where I'm like, I don't, I don't want to mess with that aspect anymore. It's become more like intuitive, you know, it's become more intuitive. And one of the, one of the things that I found out about being more intuitive is that it allows me to, to not, to just not be hard on myself. You know, it's so easy to be hard on yourself if you're an artist. It's so easy to lose track of the things that matter most. It's so easy to to uh, to go to a place where you need to constantly uh, please your mind, and it's very difficult. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's very difficult. To actually be original and, 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 and constantly trying to look like someone or constantly trying to look like something. Okay, originality is a, it's a, it's a byproduct of just doing, I think. I personally think. I think originality is just a byproduct of, okay, well, you just, you, you do your work and it just kind of, it also it doesn't mean you're 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 winging it. What it means is that you kind of just start letting things be. I don't clean the brush because uh, I like to use this, the brush itself as part of the painting, the the underpainting. Sometimes I do it. I like to clean it like this too. It's just that maybe uh, it doesn't show on the on the camera. But part of what I like to do is. To just create sort of a, a a flow, and and if I start thinking about the, the the colors, if I start thinking about the brush, if I start thinking about that, all of the thing, all of the implications, then what happens is that I'll start missing on the flow itself. The the flow, I I respect the flow over everything else. The flow is something that I just. I respect it over how much painting I'm using. I respect it over how I feel that day. Uh, the flow is the thing that I, I care most about because the flow is the thing that will make me or break me in a painting. It, if I don't respect the flow, the flow will not respect me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, but uh, if I think about something when I'm painting it, uh, I, I, I'm no longer painting it. Now I'm trying to please my mind if I think about something. So one of the things that I do is that I allow my brush to be dirty, quote unquote. I allow, I allow my paint to be wasted, right? Uh, quote unquote, it's never wasted, but it's things that I allow, right? Because it's it's almost like I'm mining for gold. I don't mind uh, the things that get wasted along the way. 
I don't mind the things that look like like I've lost something along the way. What I care about is 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 what I'm what I'm mining for. That's that's the only thing that I care about, and it's not it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, but it is it is very simple. It's a very simple approach. As a matter of fact, it's so simple that many artists won't do it because of its simplicity. And Noah says, I, I tried to paint like you and, and it went horribly wrong. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. You know, sometimes I try to paint like myself and it goes horribly wrong too. <laughs> because that, that's the thing, right? That's the thing that... that that we have an expectation. This happens to me too, where, where I have an expectation of what my paintings are supposed to look like, right? Because uh, I've been doing this for a while, so, so I have an expectation sometimes of what my painting is supposed to look like. And when I'm trying to meet the expectation of what it's supposed to look like, it just it looks like shit, right? And, and I'm not pleased with it, and I'm... And I'm upset with it, and on and on. And then I realized, dude, it's because I'm I'm trying to meet an expectation. I am not, I am not really painting. I am trying to uh, create a style, recreate a style. Uh, another thing that I that I do that goes horribly wrong for me too is when I try to uh, save time. That's a horrible thing to do. Uh, I know you guys see me paint fast, but I'm not painting fast because I'm trying to save time. I'm painting fast because it's it's where I find the juice, right? Uh, when I try to say paint, it goes horribly wrong. You know, when I'm like, oh my God, I use too much paint. I shouldn't be using too much paint and on and on. When I feel like I'm going, I need to slow down and take my time. Things go horribly wrong because usually what that means is that I start thinking. I start thinking about the painting. And if I start thinking about the painting, uh, I, 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 lose, I lose track of what is more important. You know? Or when I'm trying to be soft with it too. When I'm trying to be soft. When I'm trying to be like, okay, well, I see a line right there. Here, let me see. Let me do that. When I try to do that, boom, it's gone. Right? It's, it's sort of like the magic can only be tapped if I'm a bit brute about it. If I'm a bit uh, um, not, not very, not very uh, intelligent about it. And then, and then it feels like I can tap into the magic. You know? That's, that's when it feels like, oh, okay. Now I feel like I can tap into the magic because I've allowed myself. I, I read this book that really literally changed the way that I painted. It's called it. And I'm not promoting anything here, like any religious stuff or anything like that. Because, you know, everybody believe or don't believe in whatever you want. It is the freedom of the human being. But I read this book called The, 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 the Tao. Or the Tao Te Ching, the way of the, the the way I think it's translated, and I love this verse that it said, "If you want, basically, if you want things to be a certain way, you gotta allow them to not be that way. Like you gotta allow them to not be that way." That clicked for me, and all of a sudden I started just fucking painting, and just painting and painting, and things just started like showing up the way they're supposed to show up like this rhino head i didn't think about this you know like sh like sure i i have a <laughs> I, of course right I, this is not all from the top of my head there's reference drawings there's ref reference photos that i've used over and over and and that's how i can think of a rhino and whatnot but it didn't it didn't come out because i thought about it and i you know the, the 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 book the book expresses this verse that says if you if you want something to be straight like a tree right allow it to be crooked first if you want it to be straight allow it to be crooked in other words in other words accept it where it's at and then you can and then and then some sort of magic happens i have no idea what it is 
some sort of magic happens, but you have to accept it where it's at. You know, uh, I remember, uh, I remember taking some voice lessons when I was, when I was younger and I just did it for a hobby because I was, a, I was a guitarist and I was like, man, uh, it'd be okay. It'd be pretty, it'd be a good idea to learn a little bit about, about voice if I am going to be playing the guitar, right? Uh, maybe to craft out the songs that way I don't sound completely horrific. So I took some uh, some some uh, voice lessons, and I remember I, I I learned from this lady that was a very a very uh, uh, just a really good uh, singer, right? She happened to be like one of the first uh, what do they call them Disney. Uh, Mickey Mouse Club singers, I think back from the 50s or 60s, I don't know, somewhere. Like this lady was, was uh, when I was learning from her, she was like in her 70s, 80s, I don't know. She was, she was, she was uh, at that age. And when she was teaching me to use my voice, she was telling me, look, if you don't, if you, if you don't stop forcing, if you don't start allowing the vowels to come out, you'll, you'll, you're not going to learn how to sing. Like you may learn how to sing, you may carry a tune, but singing doesn't come from from your throat or it doesn't come from your it comes from within, it comes from your stomach, she used to tell me. And it and it shoots out like like if you're projecting a mask. Like you're 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 like if you're if you take off your face and you're projecting it. And anyways, it was something that I started learning and when I when I when I when I started painting more seriously I thought about that and I started remembering that too. It helped me a lot. Why? Because painting is not something that you're doing. It's not something that you're forcing from your mind. It's something that comes out from within somewhere else. You can't really think about it. If you start thinking about it, you won't do it. So if you start thinking about, oh man, I'm using too much paint or I'm using too little paint or I... I force the brush too much or I force the brush too little or the colors are this or the colors are that then you're no longer uh you may no longer be painting now what you're doing is you're trying to force something and you're trying to create a, a circumstance right you're trying to create a circumstance and that's where it gets very difficult when we try to create circumstances it is a very difficult thing to do because we cannot control circumstances. What we can do is just allow things to be, you know, and, and, and this rhino is just something that I allow to be. If I try to control the circumstance, it would be very difficult to paint it. Controlling the circumstance may be, uh, did I mix the color right? Did I, did I use enough oil? Is the, you know, all of these things, of course, they take practice, but they should only be... Uh, Things that you learn and then you let go. It shouldn't be things you learn and they're in the back of your mind all the time. They shouldn't be in the back of your mind all the time. Sort of like driving. When you're driving and you have enough experience driving, you're no longer thinking about everything, right? At the same time, there's multiple, there's multiple things happening. I heard this from uh, Tony Robbins. He says, you, you, if, if you try to think about everything when you're driving, you couldn't drive, right? Because it goes to your, I don't know if it goes to your subconscious or somewhere in your in your being, that it becomes uh, instinctual and a bit mechanical. You already know what to do. You're not thinking, oh my God, how much how much pressure of gas again? No, it's something so instinctual that you know how much pressure you need to put into the gas and how much pressure on the brake and, and, you know, and on and on and on. It becomes instinctual. There's the same way when you paint. There's certain rules, there's certain things you learn, but at some point you need to just put them put them away you need to put them away and just start painting from a from a place of i don't know what philosopher said this uh, i don't know if it was socrates or or plato I, it might it might have been socrates i don't know correct me if i'm wrong guys but from a place of not knowing all i know is that i don't know and and from that place that's where the juice is you know the magic comes from there when you, when you pick up the brush and you start painting and then people ask you, what are you doing? I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. But, 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 you, but you know how to paint. 
But if you just tell yourself you don't know what you're doing, if you just convince yourself a little bit that you don't know what you're doing, if you become gullible a little bit and tell yourself, I have no idea what I'm doing, and you kind of play in that room, you know, in that room of you don't know what's happening. But you do, right? Because you have the practice and you have the, the, the whatever, but, but you don't tell yourself that. You don't tell yourself that. You act as, as, as baby Jesus said, as a child, right? You act as a child. You act like, well, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just, you know, it's kind of fucking around. I have no idea. And then, and then that's when the painting starts coming out. Because, it, because your instinct takes over. And your instinct is the most pure thing you got. You know, it takes over. It's where your, your true intelligence starts uh, uh, cooking, right? That's where it comes out of. Anyways, guys, I'll leave you with that. Uh, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. This rhino is going on eBay because I can, because I'm the artist. Uh, I got this art dealer the other day. He's he's pissed at me. He's like, I can't believe you're you're you're, you're making auctions on eBay. Blah blah blah. You know, I try to buy some of your work. I got to outbid. And I was like, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You should have bid higher. <laughs> if you really wanted it, you should have bid higher. That's that's I mean I don't know what I don't know what to say. Some art dealers get upset with me. Because they want to carry my work, but at the same time they don't want to bid higher. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell them. Well, I love that. Edward Martinez uh art says your style of painting can be called improv improvisational. Improvisational. Improvisational painting. I love that. That sounds like an awesome, awesome uh, name. Improvisational. Yeah, it's, it's it's very much improvising. You know, it's it's. I feel like a jazz musician who's just kind of fucking around with a trumpet or a guitar or a piano, and just kind of using what I learned, but not really caring much. Kind of jamming. You know, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I gotta I gotta paint some trees. Oh, okay, here. Uh, I'm going to use what I know, but but I'm going to improvise. Sort of sort of shooting from the hip, but 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 with a background, with knowing what you're doing, you know? A little bit of that. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate I appreciate that a lot, Edward. Thank you. All right, guys. Peace.